Hey, what are you older? You're 60 now, your so-called golden days have passed, you think it's over. Probably wondering why, where, and how with a sigh you sit back in your chair and wonder when you lost it all the time. Wishing you didn't divorce your principles and settle, which is fine. But instead of leaving you, let no one arrive, no one waiting for you backstage, cause as the stage you let the love of life behind. I'm positive you didn't close yourself for selfish reasons, but it was selfish to deprive the world of you and your achievements. And I realized that in youth you knew more than most, but it wasn't your fight to fight, you didn't pledge to any oath. Yet you battled as an army for people who were scared. Bunch of scars with stories which you could have but never shared. And your heart beaten, broken, and torn beyond repair. I'm positive and think you can still turn it around. But you know what I'm thinking even when I don't make a sound. Pound for pound, you could have been anything you wanted to be. But a punching bag is what you chose to see yourself as. You think, why should you love you when no one else has? And those who did, they were crazy. Cause who could have loved the weird kid who raps to himself, collects bottles of small knickknacks on a shelf, who sometimes wore both suspenders and a belt, who's trilingual and never really learned how to spell? You prized yourself for being a go-getter. That fear wasn't an obstacle, but more of a ladder. You didn't climb, sure you were there for the small things, but let the important things scatter, cause in the end, you were too afraid to fight for what really mattered. The things that mattered to me and you. Nevertheless, you're going to pull through. Cause every part of me is a part of you too. And if you caved and gave in, you wouldn't be me. And I certainly wouldn't be you. Think about it.